Good afternoon, everyone. Just uh, wanted to share a little video with you. This will be a short one, but first I gotta go over to my colognes and I gotta put a little foo foo on. Gotta get my day started. Now, there's a reason for that. <laughs> I got a little story to share with you guys. As you know, uh, I told you before, I used to be a collector of like colognes and stuff. It's actually quite a big community out there that people that collect colognes and search for rare scents and stuff like that. I don't really do it anymore. I actually used to have probably a few hundred fragrances, but I sold them off and only have like 50 now, But uh, which is still insane to most people. But it used to be a hobby of mine, and uh, I just kind of grew out of it, I guess, as I got older. I kept the ones I liked, but there's a story that I wanted to share with you guys. It's kind of been on my heart the last couple of days, and... Um, uh, the Holy Spirit reminded me of this story when I read Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. And it says here, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth. For joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. So we know we're treasure unto Jesus, right? Those that are called and those of uh, his children were, were like treasure to him. And um, he, he basically bought the whole field for us when he died on the cross. You know, that was his payment for our sin. And um, he finds us like treasure, I think. And uh, he wants to salvage all the treasure he can. He wants all of us to repent and trust in him and his finished work on the cross. And this verse just really reminded me of that, that, he, that this man... This parable Jesus is talking about sold everything to get that hidden treasure. You know, nobody else knew about the hidden treasure of that land. That land may have just been looking like some ghetto place or something not that nice. Maybe had a lot of problems in that land. It wasn't great or anything. But the guy found that treasure in it and he knew that it would all be worth it in the end if he just bought that treasure and so he bought the land, and he found the treasure. And um, so, yeah, it re really reminds me of uh, what God has done for us. He's bought the whole land. He died for us. Before he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. And um, we got the easy end of the deal, really. All we got to do is repent and trust in the Lord, trust in Jesus, the Son of God, that he really did die on the cross for us, and he rose three days later, and that whosoever shall repent and trust in his finished work on the cross and whoever shall confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord shall be saved, right? We all know that. That's the good news, the gospel, as they say. But anyway, this first ties into a little story I got. And uh, it was about 10 years back with my wife and I. We were out and about um, looking at estate sales. Like um, for a while there, like a couple weeks, one summer, we were going to a lot of garage sales. And estate sales are basically when a house... Somebody will die or somebody will move or something, and then that house will get taken by the state, and uh, the state will come in, they'll hire some people, and they'll basically just have a basically a garage sale, but it's the house. People will walk in off the street inside of the house and just buy random things because they're trying to get rid of the house, and they need to get rid of all the junk, right? And some of that junk isn't really junk, as I'll tell you here. So about 10 years ago, I was really into collecting those colognes behind me, and um uh, in the fragrance community, a lot of times a certain cologne will stop being made by the company. The company will literally stop making some fragrances, right? And for whatever reason, will supply and demand, as you know, these fragrances that once costed $50, $100, which is expensive enough already, um, once they get discontinued and you can't find them no more and there's very few bottles, the price goes up. And people will literally sell bottles of cologne for like $500, $1,000, and they'll get it because there's some idiots out there like I was that would be willing to pay this absurd amount of money for a bottle of cologne just because you can't buy it anywhere, right? And you just have to have it. <laughs> it's funny now looking back at it. It was probably a form of idolatry. <laughs> but um, anyway, me and my wife walked into this estate sale, and there was two bottles that like... A year prior to walking in this estate sale, I, I had had my eyes on. I'll let you know the names. One was called Gucci One Poor Home, and the other was called Gucci Envy. 
And funny enough, I envied both of those colognes. But at this time, they were discontinued and they were fetching high prices, $500, $1,000 for these bottles. And to my surprise, I walked into this bathroom in an estate sale and I see not one, but both of these bottles in there. And my heart sunk. I go, oh my goodness, is that really the bottles that I was looking for? And immediately I felt nowhere near like this verse says, God feels way more intense about us than I do a cologne. But it, it reminded me of it. My heart sunk. I couldn't believe I found these bottles. And I felt like I had to hide them. And so I put them, picked them up. I, I, I thought everybody else was looking at these bottles of clones. Not, nobody even cared. <laughs> but I knew there was treasure. You see, it, it didn't mean anything to anybody else. But to me, I knew what was there. I knew there was a lot of hidden value there. And so I picked these two bottles of cologne up, walking, hiding them behind my coat, which was dumb. I didn't need to do that because I was going to, I bought them anyway. Um, you know, no, no thievery going on there. But at the same time, I felt like I was stealing something because the deal was so good. You know, <laughs> I felt like it was theft. I felt like I, I almost should tell the people there, you know, um, you know, these are worth a lot more, right? Um, but, you know, take a good deal when you get it. Um, anyway, these colognes were $10 each. So I ended up getting two colognes for $20 and they were both like full bottles, almost new and uh, I would have paid probably $1,000 for both of them. I was planning on buying them anyway. So when I found them for both for $20, I just could not believe it. And anyway, I bought those uh, fragrances and um, ended up selling them off anyway for probably cheap. But anyway, that little story there is, um, it really reminds me of uh, Matthew 13. That's what I thought of anyway. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but when he talks about, he bought that whole field and because he knew the treasure, treasure was hid thereof. I, I, uh, that's where my mind went anyway. I said, oh, yeah, I, I know what that kind of feels like a little bit. <laughs> but um, just wanted to share that with you. And, um, yeah, like I said, nobody else around 20, 30 people in that estate sale knew the treasure there. But it, it was something that I knew was worth a lot. And it was worth a lot to me at the time. And now I don't care about those worldly possessions or things like that. That's why I got rid of most of my, my stuff. You know, I don't really care about things no more. You know, Jesus says, be not of this world. And I feel like the last few years, he's really um, reminded me of that. And really, I am not really uh, into much. I'm not, I don't really buy anything. You know, I don't, I don't care about things because I know Jesus is, Jesus is coming back soon. So I'm just trying to get ready for that. And I have my he uh, mind on heavenly things, the things of God now. I'm really trying to uh, um, make sure I'm going down the right path. And that's that's Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to the Father. And so the things now that make me happy is reading the Bible. And I'm still uh, struggling, but I'm repenting. You know, I'm, I'm on like my, uh, this is like my third time getting rid of the beer. Uh, I've always had kind of a st struggle with that. Um, but I'm on like day six or seven now with no beers. So amen. All glory to God. I feel great too. Uh, the devil was lying to me for a while. He said, you know, if you, if you quit all at once, you know, you're going to get sick or you're going to have fa fatigues, you know, um, or you're just not, not, uh, it's, it's going to be too hard, but that's a lie from Satan because I feel good enough to keep going right now. And the Lord has given me strength. I know when I start feeling a little bit anxiety and stuff like that, instead of reaching for a beer, like I normally would have, I reach for my Bible and I pull it out and I read it and it, and it gives me peace. And that's the God's honest truth there. And it takes my mind off of uh, the worldly things and makes me stop thinking about myself and being selfish. And it makes me think of God. And uh, that's the message I got for you today. Um, put your uh, mind on Christ and he gives you whatever you need uh, at the moment. Maybe it's not what we want or desire in, in the flesh, but... I, I, I'm trusting in God on this one because I've done it my way for 25 years plus and that didn't work out for me. So I'm going to go with the Lord's way and do what he says. All right, guys. I love you all. Um, oh, thanks to my new subscriber. Uh, I forgot your name, your channel name, but you and your wife are just wonderful. And I watched some of your videos uh, last night and I love your message um, and keep it up. And thanks to Anna um, for... Um, uh, those four videos, I'm still catching up on them. They're, they're quite long. I'm, on, I'm still on the second one. I'm going to get through them, I promise. And thanks to uh, my other new subscriber. I forgot your name as well, but I uh, love you as well. 
um, sister in Christ. I, and um, you sent me a message the other day, a long message, um, telling me about the um, the Jewish Jewish history and, and whatnot. And so it, it's uh, thanks for that message. I appreciate it. And uh, I have some research to do because I don't know much about it. But you opened my eyes to that. And uh, I'll go back into my Bible and just continue to learn. Uh, God willing. All right. I'll get off here now. Love you all. Bye.